What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco Delia and on in this English video I'm going to talk about something that I actually have never talked about before or sometimes we while talking about fragrances sometimes while talking about external self-care I mentioned Japan anime and manga which is not a passion for me but you know my generation grew up with uh, Japanese animation, Japanese anime, so of course it's part of my childhood and now once I start growing up I find anime to be so cool, so nice, you know the effects, the fact that these are not actors but they are actually created to be that character, you can see things, outfits, people, uh, personalities that are so hard to find in real characters so you can find human, cre uh, human creativity in uh, so much explosion in anime, so I really love it. I really enjoy watching them sometimes. And one anime that I want to talk about, which is also of course related to wh what I talk about on my channel of course, is Attack on Titan. Why Attack on Titan? Because it just ended and I've been watching Attack on Titan for years and I was one of those guys that, you know, every time that a new episode came out, I was there ready to watch it. Even if it was in Japanese, right now I'm also studying Japanese because I want to uh, go to Japan in March uh, 2024. And I said, wow, I can't wait for the end. And it just came out. I watched it a couple of days ago and wow, the ending, it was amazing. I'm not going to spoil anything if you didn't watch it but it's such a great series just just such a great anime check it out if you never watch it it's a, a political it's fighting it's action but it's also psychological it's raw you can feel the emotions the interiority of characters that are built so well but also mappa the design the the character they are well designed they are well uh, written it's also cool so check it out the first part of the whole anime is kind of in a direction and then it changes completely and it has a plot twist that i think it's one of the biggest one in the anime history and if i have to see i watched a lot of anime and i also watched the the best ones i love uh, one punch man i loved hunter hunter i loved uh right now i watched the record of dragon Arok. <laughs> my first one was death note but i find them so interesting and it's also a way for me to learn Japanese. But Attack on Titan, of course, the message behind it is great. Everything is great. But what I want to talk about, you see, Marco, why anime? You always talk about self-care and also inner care and becoming the best version of yourself. Why anime? In the end, not end, 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 but near the ending part, there is a dialogue that I had to pause and just reflect and say, wow, this dialogue was so deep that it made me almost tear up. You know, I had tears and it was, wow, I knew, of course, these things, but it, it was talking about the meaning of life and it was two guys, Zeke and Armin, which are basically, they were kind of, you know, um, opponents but at the same time, Armin represents, you know, the genuine, pure guy and, you know, feelings, friendship. And Zeke represents uh, logic, nature, represents, you know, the pragmatic, scientific part. And they were almost as enemies in the beginning. And then they ended up being kind of in a team. But what happened is, in the end... I'm not talk about, talking about the story, but there is this type of void, this type of situation. They are in a dimension which is not real. They are just there in a timeless space and they're kind of in a limbo. They're stuck in this limbo. On the outside, everyone is waiting for them to wake up, but they're having this conversation in a timeless space. And Armin wakes up from this uh, limbo from this stagnant moment and depression Zeke and all the others 
by reminding them the meaning of life. And, you know, I follow Sadhguru, I'm reading Yoga Sutras by Patanjali, I read the Bhagavad Gita, I'm reading so many things. And of course, it's very deep because many sages and many saints of the past and wise people talked about the same thing, about the meaning of life, but seeing it in a character and seeing it genuinely in a situation and in anime, it was kind of touching. And so I wanted to talk about it. You know, once I watched a video of Sadhguru and they asked him, Sadhguru, what is the meaning of life? And he said, what if there is no meaning? What if you are asking this question just because you never actually experienced life totally 100%? If you experienced what the human capabilities really are of experience the totality of the whole cosmos just within you because it's all connected and we have the gift of consciousness of being conscious about it you would feel so much profoundness and intensity that this question would just evaporate and you would have no uh, questions about why this you see you ask why of things when you're suffering from it but if you're ecstatic about something you never ask why you just go through it and yes it was kind of making sense but in the anime they said one thing that made me that kind of is the same thing but it stuck in my head and it is Zeke is like well we are defeated the whole world is gonna be destroyed by the main character Eren we are just going to accept it you know, and we end, the war is never going to end, everything's bad, you know, and it's normal that this is all happening, it's just because life works like that. We, life, he says, uh, it's uh, just about, you know, multiplying, so it's just about, you know, there was nothing in the beginning, and then after so many attempts of mixing uh, matter all together, something survived something alive survived and then the main purpose of this thing it was just to multiply as much as possible to become the complex things end up as the complex uh, beings that we are right now so even right now our main purpose and the purpose of life is just to multiply but then Armin the other guy says he picks up a leaf from the sand and he says uh, this Leaf reminds me of one time when I was younger, when I was a child, uh, running up one hill, playing with my two friends, Eren and Mikasa, the other two main characters. And at that moment, I had a thought of, what if my purpose of life, the, the, the fact that I was born, was just to be on that hill playing with my friend, just for that moment because it was a blissful moment. And at the same time, Zeke, instead of the leaf, he saw a baseball ball, which also reminded him of this uh, one thing uh, in his past, of one moment where he was just throwing the ball and playing with his dad, and he was just, oh yeah, now I get it. At that moment, I could feel like I could play that throwing the ball like a stupid nonsense action for eternity and just would be happy and so the whole point and the whole point of Armin is just life is nothing life has no meaning at all the meaning is just to experience it's just to experience life there's nothing else little nonsense things give it a meaning so the cool thing, also you see the main character, which is this insane demon that it was evolved into a, basically a monster that was trying to destroy the world. At the end, you see him crying. You see him, the human part. And he says, I don't know what I'm doing. I just know that I have to do this because I of many reasons, but I don't want to do this. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. So you also see this divine, demonic, side of a person crying and say i don't know what i'm doing i don't know why i have this purpose and so you see oh wow it's so 
there's no meaning. He has no meaning, everything has no meaning. It's just about things of our experience, how we experience the world, how pleasant is the experience of within us and how pleasant we make it for others around us. And even if it looks scary in the beginning, after a while, if you accept it fully, that it, there's no meaning, basically you let go, you loosen the grip and you start focusing instead of achieving and seeking things all the time, which makes you uh, go into an infinite loop of just unfulfillment and suffering. You just are focusing on making this moment, the experience of this moment as good as possible. And that is also liberating. In the vastness of the cosmos, something survived and it started to multiply. It's the desperate intrinsic desire, intrinsic desire of forms to expand and experience profoundness and intensity. So it's just the whole trying to experience the profoundity and the beauty of itself. And I don't know, if you have this thought, sometimes like in a moment of your life, it can be, oh, okay, that's logical, that's okay. But there is a point in your life when it takes, maybe you will see or you will hear these things at the right moment in your path and it will click, it will do something within you that will actually make you, oh wow, what the Buddha said, there's nothing to seek. What are you seeking? It's all here. It's all now. It's all just our experience that creates everything. So it's all within us. And so you just stop and you appreciate everything way more. And you start feeling this sense of relief and you watch the sky and you watch the night and you watch nature and you watch this moment, the beauty side, the bad side, everything with equanimity and not judging. And you're like, wow, you can make so many experiences. And this is incredible. It's a huge phenomena that we are missing because we are constantly in our minds. And you see all these people that are in their own creation, in their own mind. And you're like, wow, is this truth? Now this is truth. This is reality. Why are all these people in their minds? while there is this huge phenomenon that is happening, it's insane, but they are feeling bad because of a thought in their mind. Man, our mind is incredible, but we have to use it and not be used to it. Get out of it and not be in it. And it will be a huge and immense experience of life. This is basically yoga, this is basically spirituality. And what's the whole spiritual practice about? Sorry guys for making this video too long, but I love the series. If you want to check it out, uh, you have to check it out. And if you want to, if you have any questions, just DM me on Instagram or you can leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.